If you're a fan of the Chronicles of Narnia, you might have wondered what Turkish delight tastes like and if it's really good enough to betray your whole family for. Well, luckily you can make some at home and test it out. Start by adding 4 cups of granulated sugar to a pot, then pour in 1.5 cups of water, followed by 2 teaspoons of lemon juice and 1 teaspoon of lemon zest. Turn the heat on high and whisk the mixture until it comes up to a boil. Turn the heat down to medium high and continue cooking until the color darkens slightly and the temperature reads between 240 and 250 Fahrenheit. At this point, remove from the heat and very carefully pour the liquid through a sieve into a glass jug. This will remove any sugar crystals that may have formed. Set this aside and in a larger pot, add 1 cup of cornstarch, 1 teaspoon of cream of tartar, and 3 cups of water. Whisk until all the cornstarch has been incorporated into the water and there are no lumps. Turn the heat to high and whisk frequently until the mixture comes to a boil, then lower the heat to medium low and continue whisking until it thickens. Now you can start to add the sugar mixture gradually, making sure to whisk in between until all the sugar has been added. The mixture needs to cook on low heat for about 45 minutes, stirring frequently. When it's done, the mixture will be a nice golden color and you're ready to add your flavoring. We went with vanilla, but rose water or orange are also popular choices. You can also add some red food coloring to get this lovely shade of pink. Pour the mixture into a greased and lined 8 inch baking dish and spread it out evenly with a spatula. This now needs to set in the fridge overnight. The next day, when you're ready to serve, combine half a cup of powdered sugar with a quarter cup of cornstarch through a sieve. Give it a little mix, then sprinkle a small handful over the set sugar mixture. Spread it out with your hands, then carefully flip the dish over and the Turkish delight should fall to the counter. You can then remove the dish and the parchment paper and give the other side a generous sprinkle of the sugar and cornstarch mixture. This will be very sticky, so don't skimp on the coating. Dust your knife with the cornstarch mixture, then firmly slice the Turkish Delight into roughly 24 pieces or more if you prefer smaller bites. Finally, transfer the pieces to the remaining cornstarch and sugar and gently toss until all sides have a thin coating. You're now ready to serve, no family betrayal required. Subscribe to Dished for more sweet recipes.